Hello, my friends. Uh, it has been a, uh, some time. I didn't um, um, record another video. I don't do that by routine. But as I said before, as, as I come to my heart, a certain aspect and that boils in my heart, I, I, I decide to, to post it and to record it. And today, the last weeks, I have been, um, been disturbed by the Holy Spirit about what I can call humility, the last frontier in human heart. For me, no doubt, I don't know your opinion, but for me, during my, my Christian journey, I always was amazed at Christ's humility. Besides his love, his power, his honesty, his transparency, his gifts, for me, humility, no doubt, is his most spectacular side of his nature. And I will tell you why. And why I feel to share this. I will read just one verse from the Bible. It's in one of the most, for me also, spectacular verses of the Bible about Christ's humility. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. And it goes like this, say like this. this Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of man. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself. As a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. This is tremendous verse. And I also came to my mind a verse in Matthew chapter 18, verse 1, 2, 3, 4. And Jesus was uh, put a question. Someone put in him a question, the disciples. Jesus, who is the greatest in your kingdom? Who is the greatest? And Jesus was so straight to the point. Please pay attention to this. Jesus said, if you do not become as a child, you will by no means enter the kingdom of God. And he finished like it. Whoever becomes humble as a child, you will be the greatest in the kingdom of God. He was say clear. If you are not humble as a child, in a way that you trust completely in what your father says. I always say this, that uh, I'm a father and I know my kids when they were one, two, three, four years old and they literally, they trust completely in what we say. And Jesus was saying, if you are not humble like a child, you will by no means, I repeat this again, you will by no means enter the kingdom of God. And I have been disturbed a bit and I need to share this. Please again, read my heart. You know my, my what I mean. It's what I call the virus that is creeping into the church about titles and positions. My friend, as we sing some many Sundays, we say Christ is enough for you. We see clearly that people, many people in the leadership, they are not satisfied and they, their lives show that Christ is not for them. Our nature creeping and, and um, craving for significance for being recognized among the others has been so strong and is so obvious now and it seems like no one can see and people are even offended i have this experience a few times in my christian life that i was treating a leader uh, uh, they 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 i don't know they, they consider themselves like um, very important in the leadership of the churches and I was calling only brother. Hi, brother. How are you? And I notice clear they feel offended. I don't know how many of you you, you, you can uh, cope with this. And they feel offended. It's like I was putting, I not respecting at the proper position. And they don't even realize that kind of positions are rooted in the world, in the system of the world. There's nothing to do with the kingdom of God. You know what I was just came to my mind Matthew 23 verse 5 to 8 and above Jesus was saying to the Pharisees to the leaders religion leaders of the time that they were the ones who liked the first seats in the feasts they look for the approval of men and they see that no no do not call anyone rabbi do not call anyone teacher Jesus was saying, do not consider anyone superior to the others. 
Do not let anyone call you rabbi or teacher or doctor or whatsoever the titles today or dato in Asia or three, times three or whatever, my friends. Jesus is saying, not me. And today is so obvious, is so natural in the church. And let me tell you this, when we do not have all of us, the presence of God, the power of God, the anointing, we will always rely in titles of the system of the world. This is a rule. And this is scaring because it is happening now in the church around many places. You know about Jesus also. And Jesus said, do not call among you, is in uh, Matthew 23, verse 6, seven and eight among you among you i say again among you you are all brothers and sisters among the church there's no no one is above the other and he said and whatever wants whoever wants to be the greatest should be your servant and there's another verse about humility that's that strikes my heart and just uh, is in john chapter 20 verse 17 when Jesus was resurrected and uh, he appeared to Mary and he told to Mary like this, I'm not yet climbing to, to, to the heaven. Go to my brothers and tell them. Jesus said to those who just deny him, who just abandon him, Jesus, the creator of everything, God, he said, Mary, go to my brothers, my brothers. He put himself in their level that I didn't go yet to my God, their God, my father, their father. I say again, tell to my brothers that he's my God, but he's their God. He's my father, their father. I'm one similar to you. I'm equal to you. My friends, I want to finish these seven minutes. I want to just, because it was very strong in my heart. That I go again to Matthew 18, when Jesus said, Whoever does not become humble as a child, by no means enter the kingdom of God. And I, I must suggest to myself first, to all of us, let's let it go of this life of pretense, this leadership of pretense in the church. My friend. Because we do not have the presence of God, we need to look for titles. Even, just came to my, my heart now, even in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 12, when Paul was describing the, the, the gifts that God gave to the church, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, was not hierarchy. It was not titles. And the church today, it's amazing how they use this even bishops, even they put all kind of titles to create an hierarchy, a system, a human hierarchy. There's nothing to do with the kingdom of God, but because man has this need to dominate, to control, to be above the other, to be served, they create this idea that these gifts are titles. Apostle, evangelist, prophet, pastor and teacher are not titles are gifts to the church to prepare the church okay my friends thank you very much for listening and um, this is what i felt today to share and that would be a blessing to you i believe we are all in the same boat and we need to tell the truth in love but we need to tell the truth because it's not my words it's the word of god and humility and pride humility is the last frontier in human heart I believe when we reach that humility the glory of God will fall in the church Amen Praise God God bless you